Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com, and I'm about to finally unbox the Traxxas E Revo Brushless Edition. It's the one with the Mambo Munster system. Haha, <laughs> factory seal. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh ha ha ha. Stop in the name of Traxxas. Uh, d b d b b k d b j b b b blah 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 blah. Traxxas will not provide direct services and support for the install power system. Can I accept this product arrangement? Do not render it. Send it back. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. Scary. Jeez. Wow. Dude. Point taken. If you have a problem with your Mumbai Monastery uh, Mambo Munster uh, whatever system. Uh, Traxxas doesn't want to hear it. Okay, well, well then. Ah, TQ 2.4 gigahertz radio system. I have shown this so many times by now that if this is the very first unboxing of mine that you have ever seen, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go into the details of this thing. Uh, they'll be moving to TQIs over time. Anyway, I'm going to move on to this bag of stuffs because there's a lot of stuffs or there are many stuffs in here and uh, I do want to cover what's in here because I'm not going to go through all of this stuffs in the reviews so let's see yeah ah, ah, all right manual of course some uh, stickers uh, usually a not big on putting on all the stickers but some of these are actually going to make the vehicle look a little bit better so i'll put some of those on after this video and then let's see tool bag big, probably the most populated biggest tool bag i've ever gotten from any rc vehicle period there's a lot of stuff in there i appreciate that they give you some silicone shock oil interesting and it uh oh 40 weight it says right there 40 weight don't know what the stock stuff is but this is 40 weight so there you go 40 weight mm. warning this bag is not a toy this is the long travel rocker set which uh gives you longer travel they also include different springs wow these springs are really stiff uh to go with that whole setup because out of the box the brushless edition is definitely set up to run a little bit lower lower to the ground handle high speed turns better and stuff but if you want to go more off-road and stuff and and uh, have more range of motion of the suspension and lift up i mean it's still got quite a lot there quite a lot yeah but uh, if you want even more still for kind of something in between uh revo and a and a summit you can put these on there now I'll give you more of that good stuff. And uh, what do we have here? Maximum travel steering stop. Interesting. And there's a extra spur gear in here. Battery retainer tabs. I don't know what that's about. Ooh, they do give you some of those. Uh, I love these. These are these uh, uh, little foam donut washer things that you put under your body to keep it from rattling around. They actually give you some of those. I wish they would include those with every single thing, every single thing that they sell because they're awesome. Uh, adjustment shims and hardware. There's a lot of extra stuff that comes with this that I was not expecting at all. And then because, you know, stop, it's castle. If you have any problems with castle, castle, not Traxxas, castle. Texas doesn't want to hear from you. Here is the full driver's ed guide from Castle. Castle, if you have any, have any problems, Castle, talk to Castle, not Traxxas, Castle. All right, that takes care of that. And now I can focus on just the E-Revo brushless edition itself. So as monster trucks go, this is probably the single least monster E truck amongst the RC ones on the market given that it has low profile tires fairly low profile and it's very low slung and aerodynamic it's kind of a kind of a, a genre bender in and of itself uh, the original uh, the original nitro revo was was different you know kind of uh, changed 
changed the perception of the world at the time, which was which had been centered around the T Max, which itself changed the perception of the Monster Truck Monster Truck RC world. Uh, but uh, this one, like I said, it's even more low slung. The brushless edition. This is one serious machine. Uh, like I said, it does have the Castle Mama Monster combo in it, and uh, might as well just go ahead and take off this body so you can see. Cause, I mean, body, cool. I mean, either you like it or you don't. I like it. And then let's see what's actually going to make this thing tick. First off, again, the castle system right there, pre-installed, good to go. This is good for 4S use all the way up to 6S use. Just tr truly a monster. I mean, that really, really owns its own name. And uh, single speed transmission here. Uh, we've got the servos, has a pair of servos working together. That is definitely something that you want to be careful with. Uh, early on, uh, I'd say before you even run one of these vehicles, check and make sure that these are uh, aligned to each other. Uh, dis dis disconnect one of them from underneath, disconnect the linkage, turn the whole thing on, let it arm and see where they set or where they settle and then adjust one of them accordingly, uh, just the uh, linkage uh, accordingly to uh, make sure that they are together so they're not fighting each other all the time. Uh, that's pretty pretty important. Revo style suspension in the Revo, of course, the so you know so-called Revo style that they they were very famous for putting onto a monster truck, RC monster truck for the first time. This one does have the uh, uh, anodized. Uh, this one does have the uh, anodized GTR shocks, so they are aluminum shocks, threaded bodies. With uh, these knurled uh, adjusters here, the upper upper retainers does have uh, titanium nitride coated uh, shock shafts on them, and this has the progressive two progressive rate two rockers on the front, and same on the rear, and this is a nice feeling setup. Um, I'd say this is one of the better setup suspensions that Traxxas has done of late um feels a little looks feels like it might be a little bit stiffer in the front like the effective rate of it I'm not 100 percent positive about that but i mean all in all it, it feels good it's really smooth definite you can feel the progressiveness there it gets tighter i mean even if i pick up one tire so that it's not uh, dragging on on the ground uh, i can definitely feel that it's, it's working brilliantly you can adjust the caster a little bit by uh, moving the upper arm back and forth a little bit as pillow ball style suspension so you can adjust your camber uh, this this one does have the aluminum uh, uh, what do you call these rocker no these are the rocker arms these are the actuators uh, there's a there's another word for them it has rod in the name but these things are, are metal and they have metal spacers at, at the ends. The uh, battery trays for this thing has two of them. If you haven't seen the E-Revo before, they're now mounted pretty, pretty low. Here from the side, and look at that. There's something inside. This is a 3000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery pack, seven cell. And it has a friend over uh, on the other side. I'll just... Uh, Sneak a little access to it from here. I can't see it, but I can feel it. There we go. So you've got two of those that come with it, even though it does have a brushless system. I you know there's a lot of misinformation or misunderstanding out there that if you run brushless, you have to run nickel metal hydride, or if you run lipo, you have to run brushless. Neither is the case. Um, this will do just fine with nickel metal hydride. It'll just do better with lipo. Uh, top speed will be Top speed with with uh, conservative gearing should be similar between running two 4S lipos and running two 7-cell nickel metal hydrides. But once you start to gear up, you will get into much higher voltage drop, much higher amperage use, and then basically the more aggressive you get with this thing, the more that uh, that lipos will just destroy nickel metal hydrides. This is definitely a vehicle that can use all the power that you throw at it, especially with this big old motor. It's an eighth scale motor, 
40 millimeters by 74 millimeters uh, are the dimensions and uh, uh, this thing will will run a vehicle of this size which is pretty big and pretty heavy it'll run an eighth scale buggy it'll run an eighth scale truggy it's a monster uh, it's a proper monster uh, the revo does have the uh, truggy style uh, wing which uh, is like another thing that's a little bit non-monstery about it it actually has adjustable uh, an adjustable angle you can change the angle of it down here uh, to change your aerodynamic properties not that that's very important at all for something this heavy and with the suspension this plush but it's it's nice uh, that they do give you that option there this thing has kick up in the front uh, the, the, the front arms are angled upward and it looks like it has anti-squat in the rear also and quite a bit of it quite a bit of it i i never literally never realized that before just how much anti-squat is in the e-revo that's interesting and it's a good thing uh, given how high the center of gravity is on this thing with the big old motor sitting way up here why is the motor sitting up this high uh hmm. i i never get that when companies put uh things up way higher than they need to be i mean there's i can fit my i can almost fit my thumb i can easily fit my index finger on its side underneath this motor can between it and the the chassis beneath um but that is what it is. Uh, I'll go ahead and reposition the camera so you can see this whole thing from the side. So there you can see its profile. And the lowest point is right here. And there's just a little bit of a step up in the middle uh, under the chassis. So it has a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra room. It's good that they have these servo guards on these because uh, there's, there's, a, there's plenty of opportunity for terrain to interfere with, uh, with those for sure. This vehicle does use wheels with 17 millimeter hexes, and uh, they are already installed here. Uh, it does actually have a, a unique pattern that they use for these hexes that gives them a little bit more grip than the standard. Uh, they actually have, probably have twice the surface area in the direction uh, of, of the motion uh, compared to normal hexes. Uh, interesting design that they did on there. It's all hidden behind here, but 17 millimeters has become, thankfully, more of a, a standard. Uh, we tried to get it to be a standard a long time ago when the Truggy class was first invented, and then we went into, uh, by that time, we were already into 14 millimeter hubs, and then Proline did 27 or 23 millimeter hubs. Kyosho did, and Duratrax both had 19 millimeter hubs. Thankfully, we are back to 17. So you can definitely easily get uh, wheels to fit those. Well, I'm going to go ahead and actually cut this off earlier than normal. Rather than ruining this thing by rambling about it forever and ever, I'm just going to leave good enough alone and uh, start getting this thing prepared for its first run. This will be, this will be my very first time ever uh, owning any Revo-based, full-sized Revo-based vehicle. I've driven e-revos before, but never my own, and so I'll have some time to really get get used to this one. And uh, I'm probably going to go, you know, norm normally with vehicles that are that are sold as bashers, I try to make them perform better on uh, on finer surfaces. You know, have have finer, more racy handling. This one, I f I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty decent as is. Might, might be able to use a little bit of stiffening, but I'm going to try to go the opposite route with this one uh, after I go through the review process. I uh, will you know, move on to those long travel rockers, and then when it comes time to doing my tune-up videos, I think I'm actually going to take this in more of a bashing direction. You know, raise it up, make, it, make the suspension a little bit softer, and uh, try to make it really good all-around basher for rough terrain usage and jumping and stuff like that. So that's it for now for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button on YouTube. If you did not like this, please be sure to hit the did not like button, the thumbs down button on the video. Either way, I appreciate the feedback and it helps me out. 
and uh, I will be talking to you again very soon. If you have any questions or comments in the meantime, while I'm in the process of testing this thing out, there's a whole eRevo and Summit forum at ultimatrc.com. That's been going for quite a long time, so if you want to join in any of the discussions there or share your own eRevo and any customizations, modifications you've done to it or any videos that you've done, be sure to post them up there. I'm sure everybody would love to share with you. And I would appreciate you sharing with them also. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you again soon.